Michael here with Home Health Success Academy and welcome to the third video which is the last video in our online marketing series and the goal in this series is to be able to talk to you guys about the importance of your home care home health agency to be actually online and how to be able to find patients for your agencies online now in previous videos the first one we talked about pretty much using Facebook marketing second part is also talking about YouTube, how you can gain patients and clients over there. And the third part, which is right now, is being able to be easily searched and found in, for example, search engines. So, but the primary search engine we want to talk about is Google, because everything right now is all about Google, right? If, if somebody says you need to look for something, instead of saying search the internet for it, people say, why don't you Google it, right? So just imagine this, you have this, woman or this man who figures out that they need care for their mom or their dad. And so what they do is they look for home care in the city that they're in, in the city that their parents are in and click Google and Google helps search for potential services. Now, for example, you guys, I'm sure you have used Google to search something. Let's say you're searching for pizza. You pretty much search pizza, but of course, because where you are, let's say you're searching pizza in the local area where you are at, Automatically, Google will find certain things in your area automatically. But if somebody is from another state looking for services in a particular city, they will put down the name of the city. But let's say you're searching pizza right now. You click pizza, and what happens is when you go to Google, you're automatically going to see what they call the, the triple pack, which is that map area. They're going to list the first three agencies that you know they feel is the right um the right uh, company that you're looking for. But then also within that Google search, you're gonna see the first two or three um, uh, search uh, queries are gonna be what they call ads. Those are what we call paid ads. So after you have your paid ads, you have your triple pack, then you start having what your organic searches. Those are the non-paid uh, ads or non-paid searches where Google kind of figures out and recommends these are the particular pizza places. But in this case, for what we're doing is, let's say, home care agencies. Now, your company, imagine if you're able to make sure that your website is discoverable and all of a sudden is in the first page. More than likely, okay, the people that are in the first or second page of Google are the ones that are going to get the business when people are searching for particular services, okay? So if somebody's searching home care in your area, you definitely want to be in the first or second page or even up to the third page. They pretty much say is that if your web, if your information is fourth page and down under, you're not going to get any business. So what you need to do is you need to strategically do things to be able to get yourself up there. And so one thing is, it's called search engine optimization is going through your website and making sure that your website is optimized for that. Now there are companies that are going to potentially call you, or there may be companies that may claim that they can get you ranked in the first or second page within less than a month. And the truth is this, guys, if those guys are going to do that for you, they're doing what we call black hat you know, SEO or even gray hat SEO, meaning they're doing something that is trying to beat the algorithm. But the problem with that is Google frowns upon that. And when they discover that, which they are able to, you can get penalized and be removed from Google and pushed down even further. So you need to be able to make sure that you are optimizing your pages. And so I don't want to go to the whole technical version of what needs to happen, but pretty much is, is the best way to do it um, is you research the pages that are ranking and see what they're doing that you're not. Typically, it's all about particular keywords, making sure that those are in your pages. But the websites that are very effective to be able to rank up are the web pages that are doing a lot of blog posts that are making sure that their blog posts are keyword optimized. So example of a keyword is that if you're putting home care, let's say Chicago, Illinois, or home care in Tampa, Florida, and those are all part of your whole blog setup and how you're doing that, you're trying to rank yourself up with those particular keywords, that's what's gonna be able to eventually get you moved up. But it's not just creating one article, it's about continuously posting. That's what Google is looking for, is having a website that has a lot of information that will be valuable. Then that's what you guys need to do, is to be able to you know, take care of the optimization. Now, here's the truth about real SEO or search engine optimization. 
if your website, you know, sometimes you may just had your website created. So of course it's not going to rank up, but here's the thing, even though your page is not ranked in the first 10 pages, maybe it's, you might find it down the line, 50 pages down, 20 pages down. The truth is you can get yourself ranked up and it takes approximately about a year time. Now it can go lesser if your competition is not doing a lot of search engine optimization. And what we're seeing a lot technically in the home care industry, when we actually provide search engine optimizations for a lot of our clients is we're seeing that we can get them ranked in the first three pages when about in about a year between nine to 12 months. Okay. Now search engine optimization. Yes, it is an investment. Yes. It's going to cost some money. Typically, typically it costs somewhere around between $900 to about $1,500 of services, right? And that's going to be a monthly service just to be able to get you ranked up and moved up. But the main goal when it comes to search engine optimization is to rank yourself in the organic traffic where you're not paying ads, but at the very same time as we also want to work and get you into that triple pack, right? Because that also is what's going to, what a client who's searching sees first before the organic ads. And so that's something that we work on as well with a lot of the companies that we work with. Now, listen, if you don't want to work with companies like mine or other companies, you can go ahead and do the research, you know, make sure that you understand. But typically most people that are into this business, into the home care business, they're not going to be website, you know, you know, knowledgeable, or they may know how to create a basic website, but are not familiar of this, of, of search engine optimization. There are a lot of courses out there that you can learn. And, you know, yes, it's going to cost you around five, $6,000 to take some of these classes so that you know how to fix your website. But here's the thing, guys, I always tell people is concentrate on where you are good at. Like for myself, for example, I'm really good at the marketing aspect, boots in the ground, talking to people. And so I had to bring in a team who is aware and know how to create these type of setups, Facebook ads. But at the same time as because I'm bringing them in, I also want to learn about it in which I eventually learned and got good at it. But I had to make sure because I don't want to hire somebody and I don't know what they're doing. It's the same thing when I hire marketers. I know about marketing. So when they are out there marketing, I can check them and know that are they doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay. And I also have a background in nursing. So the medical aspect of the home health industry, I also know as well. I'm providing care, the right care plans, how to be able to, you know, put the right notes, how to take care of billing because I've been running businesses myself for a long period of time. But here's the thing. My love is the marketing aspect, boots in the ground, direct talking to doctors or social workers. And that was my cup of tea. So now what is your, what is your strengths? I always say double down on your strengths, know a little bit about your weaknesses and bring in the people who are strong in that particular area. Now you can learn this just like anything. When it comes to experience in business, you have three choices, not create actions, forget about Google. Number two, learn it yourself and wait six months, three months of learning, practicing, drilling, rehearsing. But then at the very same time is if you, if you're not specialized on it, you know, it might take you a little bit longer, right? You might be able to get yourself ranked up eventually, maybe two years down the road, but time is money when it comes to marketing in the home care industry, or you bring in a team who already knows what they're doing, whether you ask us to do it for you or you research another company that can do it for you. But here's the thing, guys. Imagine a year from now, you're ranked up in the first page. How much is one client worth for you? I know one thing is this. If you're able to bring in one non-medical, you know, private duty patient, and let's say you're providing them maybe 40 hours a week of services. If you have a one thing, $5 profit margin from what you're billing them and from what you're paying your staff and your expenses, five times 40, right? five times 40, that's $200 profit on a weekly basis, $800 profit in a what in a monthly basis, which then also puts you at how much in a whole year, right? That becomes $960, $9,600 in a whole year profit. Well, services, like I said, for SEO, right? is somewhere around between 900 to approximately around $1,500, depending on which services that you want to do, right? And the higher services gets you ranked faster. So that's where you have to question yourself is that for one patient that you can get a year from now, you're going to be able to reap the benefits of your investment within that first year of fixing your website to get it ranked up. Okay. So just imagine what you can do within Google searches, but then there's also what we call the Google ads. We talked about that earlier. When you do a search, 
The first three lines is typically ads. People actually pay to be able to put their information up there, right? And so if that is in your budget to do Google ads, as they may say, then while you're working on your SEO services, maybe get yourself ranked up in there as well. But a lot of the problems that, that a lot of agencies do, that they make a mistake, they do run ads in Google sometimes, but what they do is their website is not created as a sales page, right? A lot of people create their websites as just pretty much a digital version of their brochure, their trifold brochure, when it should not be. Your website needs to be created in order, okay, for it to be already selling for your services. So let's talk about websites right now. Let's move away from the SEO. Let's talk about websites. In your websites, is on every single page the phone number for your company listed? And here's the thing. Most agencies, their phone numbers will be in the bottom footer, the footer of the website, when it should not be. It should be in the top part of your website. So when people log in, your number is right there automatically, right? And then let me ask this question. Are you asking a question in your website? And the question is, do you need care or do you need home care services? Then there's a click, click this button to find out more, right? Because if you ask that question, if somebody logs in, I'm looking for home care for my mom, they log into your website and they say, and somebody asks me and says, are you looking for home care? I'll say yes, of course, right? So do you want to know more? Click here. So make sure that it's interactive. The next thing is, do you have videos in your website? You know, are you creating a sales video about your company, about your services? And just to let you know, if you have video in your website, it also helps with the ranking on your search engine optimizations. So typically, for example, if in my websites for my home care companies, if we're talking about skilled nursing, for example, when they click the page about skilled nursing, Yes, we're going to have the, the bullet point information of what the benefits are, not just the features, but the benefits of using skilled nursing at, for a patient. But that also will be created into a video format, right? And the video, we create that because we want to put it in our website. But at the same time as in another video we talked about, we also put it in our Facebook page. We also put the video in our YouTube channel. So we're creating this whole online presence. We also use those videos to post in our LinkedIn pages as well, okay? So there's so many things that you can do. Then within your website, right? So this is just creating a website. Think about some of the websites that you're visiting right now that you continuously click into, right? Let's say, for example, you're going to Fox News or you're going to CNN or you're going to MSNBC. You keep on going to these websites because you want to be entertained. You want to be able to gain knowledge of what's the recent stuff. So it goes the same exact way where you want people to continuously come back to your website, whether they're using your services or maybe using your website as a reference to be able to know a little bit information about home care for their loved ones, care for their loved ones. So in our websites for our home care company, we created an educational site where people can log in, find out about hypertension, find out about certain medication, find out about you know fall prevention, you know find out how therapy can help them, right? So we, cr we create these training with you know, with, with words, but at the same time as convert them to video. And guess what? The same videos are going to be in our YouTube channel, are going to be posted in our Facebook pages. It's going to be in our LinkedIn page. And so we create this online presence. And if you are a company that keeps on educating people, they're going to gravitate towards you. Just like have you guys gravitated to this particular video is because you want to learn something. And if you go to our website, you probably have gone to several of our videos and watched several of videos. There's going to be some videos that you're going to enjoy. Some videos that you're going to be like, meh. Then there's some videos that you just keep on coming back and keep on returning to to be able to know more. Maybe you can analyze it even better. So that's creating an online presence. Now, are you guys doing this in your website right now? More than likely, no, right? Also in your website, other than providing those education, you also want to make it a capture page. Meaning, if somebody wants some really good information, so like, for example, we have a fall a fall prevention video training that's about 30 minutes in our home care websites. If a client wants to have that, they're going to see the first five minute clip of the video. But if they want the full video, they need to enter their information, their phone number, their contact name, and also their email. Okay. And so when that happens with our websites, guess what? Now we have that contact information. The fact that they're searching our website in a particular city that we're in, 
that means more than likely that they have a loved one that might need that services. So when we get their number, when we get their contact information, we always contact them back and say, hey, um, it looks like you were looking into this particular video or this particular training. Can we ask, how can we help? Just giving them that call, making that phone call, being aggressive a little bit, because you have to be when it comes to marketing, allows us to be able to gather more information. And maybe they have that loved one and, they, and we now offer our services. Okay. Next, other than the phone call, they also receive an email from us saying that, hey, thank you so much for subscribing. Now we can have them on our email list. We hit them with emails maybe once or twice a week, you know, just talking about home care. We're not pushing. We're not saying give us patience, give us patience, or we're not saying, hey, let's let's admit your mom. Let's put them in our company. No, we just give them a lot of information and then give them the option and bond say, hey, do you want to speak to a, you know, a senior specialist? Click this number, click this button right? These are things that you need to do into your website. And if you're not doing this or making sure this is happening in your website, this is why other agencies are beating you guys. These are why other agencies are succeeding online and you're not. Just imagine this. When COVID hit, when we couldn't go marketing out there, a lot of websites who were making sure they were optimized and ranked up, a lot of companies that were doing ad Google ads, they were doing Facebook ads, they were doing YouTube ads that had a presence online were the ones that succeeded because they were online and they didn't need to go into facilities. People were looking for them, right? Another thing that you can look into and start doing is doing a podcast within your website. Podcasts are great, great ways to be able to market your company. You can bring in specialists. Like for example, what we do is we speak to a physician and we say, hey, doc, can we do a quick interview with you just talking about, you know, let's say he's a cardiologist talking about, you know, for CHF patients, you know, post, you know, patient who has a heart attack, a patient who had some stints done, a patient who had a bypass surgery. We'll interview him and so for him to give us suggestions and we'll have this conversation, this interview style type of stuff, but then it's very informative and a lot of people are watching that. You're probably watching some podcasts right now. You're probably listening to, while you're driving, people that are having a conversation and in video podcasts or audio podcasts, Spotify is such a big thing now. And so this is something that you guys should also create, bringing in people with the knowledge, having a conversations with them. Well, we even had podcasts where we spoke to a lot of our previous clients, where we speak to a lot of the patient's family and just wanted to know more about them because if they can share their experience, there's other people out there who is experiencing that and they want to be able to hear from other people that live through experiences of having the heartache of having to bring their mom to the hospital, bring their mom to the nursing home when their mom at one point or father at one point was able to do everything by themselves at their home. So what are you doing right now for your website? Are you guys actually taking advantage of this? Now, if you watch this video, we, our previous videos in this online series, we told you guys that we are going to be offering courses on how to do Facebook ads, how to do YouTube ads and posting and how to rank your YouTube. Now, when it comes to um, SEO, it's, it's, it's a long journey to learn that stuff. So we're not going to have any training regarding SEO services, but just to let you guys know, we are offering that services. If you guys want to, all you got to do is stop by our website, homehealthsuccessacademy.com to be able to get more information about that. Now, Here's the thing, guys. By now, it's 2021 when we created this video. This video is going to be online for the next three, four years. If you go to our YouTube channel, we've had videos that's been there for five, six, seven years now. And people are viewing them. Creating videos is an important thing. But having an online presence is the most important thing for any company nowadays. Back in the days during the 80s, if you did not have, if you were not listed in the yellow pages, if you didn't have an office, if you didn't have a, a um, business card, you were not considered in business. During the 90s, towards the end of the 90s, early 2000s, if you did not have a website, then you, you were in a business. Nowadays, if you really don't have a website, don't even have a business. You should have one by now. But you should have an interactive website by now. And if you don't, you cannot function correctly as a business. You guys have to understand, we're still seeing home health agencies who have websites, and we know by the codes, by how we look at the website, that those websites were made during the late 90s, early 2000s. And that is, can be a big problem. 
you need to make sure your website is updated. Yes, it's an investment. A lot of people say, well, I don't want to pay $2,000 for a website. That's perfectly fine. But that's the problem also. It's fine that you don't want to do that. But here's the thing. Once again, marketing is 100% of your profit. You need to put some investment, whether with us, for us to help you guys create those, or working with another company that can help you guys as well. Either or, you need to make sure that this is something that you handle right now. Having an online presence. We're gonna now cut, we're just gonna go over everything. You should have a YouTube channel by now. You should be creating videos to be able to post in YouTube as well. Create educational content. You should be doing Facebook pages and make sure you do a daily post, at least a minimum of one to two posts, minimum. Our agency, we post six to seven things at our Facebook page all the time, every day. A variety of articles, memes, basic photos, basic comments and photos of our clients, and also we post videos as well. Then we also use Facebook ads because that helps us generate clients, right? We create YouTube channel and also Google or pretty much what we say search engine optimization. We make sure that happens so we're ranked up in the Google algorithm and also working on our website. If you're able to do all this, then you're going to be able to gain patience coming into your company. You're going to be able to grow your company. And if you match that with a boots in the ground marketing strategy that works, that you actually go out there and do, now you have a solid company. Because if you're doing online and boots in the ground, that right there, my friends, is makes you different and makes you stand out and makes you succeed over the other people that are barely doing the right thing when it comes to just boots in the ground marketing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. Please make sure you watch it. If you have any questions, please go ahead and contact us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that's being released almost on a weekly basis as much as we can. Always understand that home health marketing is easy if you know what you're doing. And that's what we're here for is to give you guys the knowledge that you need to be able to create a successful home care, home health, or hospice agency.